Hey guys and welcome back to another video and hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today here we are back with Home Assistant and to integrate Shelly devices on Home Assistant. By the way if you haven't watched the videos on Home Assistant or Shelly devices which are great devices then just search on the channel and you will find a lot of info and if you are interested in this kind of topic just stay tuned to the channel because we will bring more and more integrations and automatizations with Shelly devices and Home Assistant which is just an awesome experience. Now Home Assistant for those of you that are new to this is basically a software that will allow us to communicate between different kinds of brands and this is a very simplistic way of explaining but if you search for info about it you will find a lot. Now you will also find a lot of info about the sponsor of this video which is Wondershare Dr. Phone. Now it's available for iOS and Android phones and also we can install on our Windows computers or Mac OS computers. We can do a lot with the software starting with phone backups or restore from those back and save them on our Windows or Mac computers, data recovery, phone transfer if we want to, system repairs such as black screens, boot loops and so on and much more. So there is a free trial version I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check out if this is the software that you want to check it out and see if it solves the problem that you have on your phone or not. Now that being said let's go straight for it. So we are going to integrate Shelly and one of the things that I do love is that all of us have different brands on our home in terms of smart devices and with Home Assistant we can integrate those devices and then make them talk to each other which is just great. I can give you an example which I can have brand A sensor and when I get in that room I want that sensor to trigger an action on another device of another brand and that is just great with Home Assistant. Now focusing on the topic which is Shelly, great devices, I'm really having a lot of fun and probably in the market right now these are one of the best devices that we can get actually their software is so complete that if we only have shell devices we probably don't need almost system because they only integrate obviously their devices on their application now that being said with this series of videos the goal is that we can make devices talk to each other and that being said we will need to install AX and I'm not going to give you a tutorial because there are a lot of great tutorials out there how to install X and just follow one of those and once we have X installed all we need to do is go to X and then integrations and on integrations we just need to search for Shelly and here it is. Now if I go right over here for the first time it will show me a installation. In my particular case I has already made a few installations here on my test server. It will show me reinstall. So I'm going to press reinstall and it will appear a button right over here so I'm going to press install and I'm going to wait for a while. But basically what this will do is automatically uh, will put the Shelly components on my custom components folder which we have seen on other devices how to do it manually. Now we can also do it manually but this is a funnier way to do. In this point uh, the folder is already with the necessary files and I can check that if I go to Finder or on Windows you can go to File Explorer. If I go right over here I will find my configuration file custom components and here we go the Shelly folder is right over here and with the necessary files inside without me having to do anything at all. Now what I uh, will have to do is go to this link right over here which I will leave on the description and uh, what I would suggest is that you give a reading and it's always great to read this information because we will learn a lot not only with this integration right over here but with a lot of info that we will find about Home Assistant and whatnot. Now what I'll need to do is just copy this file right over here, not this file but this uh, three lines, go to my Home Assistant and then on a file editor which we have seen on a previous video how to enable it. I just need to go right over here and paste it below my files which I already have for InfluxDB, SunOff and WeB. Now uh, it will ask me for this data and what I'm going to do is I'm going to Shelly Cloud. For those that never use this on a computer only on, on mobile uh, you can also get by mobile but just go to my.shelly.cloud and you will be able to log in and then have your information. If I go to user settings and scroll down I will find this get key and I'm just going to copy my key and right over here I will paste it 
right over here. And then on the server, I will just copy my server because your server might be different from mine. And I will paste it right over here. As soon as I've got this information, I'm gonna press save, then going to configuration and on server controls, check configuration, it's valid. So let's restart and we will be back in just a few seconds. Now the server is already restarting. As we can see, Home Assistant is starting. Not everything will be available until finished, but we will start anyway and assume that everything is fine. Now I'm already receiving notifications right over here. We have discovered new devices on your network. Check it out, okay. And as we can see, we already have Shelly right over here, five devices and 16 entities so if this takes uh, a while don't worry wait for i don't know two three four minutes five minutes or so so that the um, home assistant will discover everything that it's on your network everything that it's on your clouds now what i'm going to do i can go to this menu right over here but we can go straight to our overview and i can start configuring my ui and basically what i'm going to do right now is i can add and as you can see right over here this is the shelly temperature and humidity sensor I can use one of these and then just say temp uh, temperature office something like that and I can save of course we have already seen uh, how to change the graphics for the severity and so on and so forth so I'm not going to waste your time right over here so here we go with one gorge and we can add more now Shelly EM which we have seen on the last video it's an awesome device I will leave a link somewhere here on the YouTube cards. But uh, what we are going to do is I can uh, select another gorge. And if I go to Shelly EM, I can select total consumption, which is not what I want right now. What I want is the instant consumption. So this just means that at this moment, my house, my full house is consuming 1737 watts. So I can put right over here, home consumption. And there we go. We can also define severity and so on and so forth. And once again, let's press save. I can also add uh, another one with my solar PV production. For those of you that have solar PV, Shelly EM is a great device. Not only for the consumption. If you have only consumption, it's great. But if you have solar PV, then it's a great solution at a really affordable price. So I'm going to find my Shelly EM2, which is my solar production. And as you can see, it's a negative value. So what I'm going to do right over here is put a negative value of 40 thousand for example and I can define severity or we can leave it like this so it's going to be different from the other one and the maximum will be zero in this particular case it will be upside down so I'm going to save it up and there we go I've got my home consumption and I didn't edit the name on this one so let me just put my solar PV and right over here and basically we can do a lot we can integrate more buttons we can do i don't know let's select a button right over here and i'm going to select in this particular case it's a son of switch but uh, i can select the shelly 1 pm which in this particular case it's not useful because it's a power measurement but uh, with a turn on and turn off button which i don't want to use it right now but i can select my shelly em uh, electric this is my water heaters that it's on the kitchen on connected on a Shelly plug so I can put right over here water heater and I can turn it on and off if I want on my phone or whatever uh, and I can keep adding devices to the home assistant I can keep adding integrations and then of course we can do automations uh, with what we have right over here now I'm going to close this and let's just check out here something that I'm working on and I'll share very very soon which is uh, graphics using Shelly EM power consumption or Shelly 1 PM which will give us uh, the power consumption of a particular device and as you can see right over here last six hours but I can put for the last 12 hours and it will show me this yellow line my solar pv production and then on green it will show me the power consumption so we have some peaks right over here you can also select a bigger last two days i'm not really sure how many days i've got it working for but we can see right over here that probably one two three four five six seven yeah more than one week working with it so we can see a lot of data right over here and we can analyze it in a different manner 
that we can uh, with uh, the software. Now let's leave it here on the last 12 hours, which will show me basically the production of today of my solar PVs. I can also give you a glimpse right over here, but we will talk about this in the near future. Uh, on Grafana, we can do a lot, integrate the Cella devices with Grafana and InfluxDB, and here we are with two different graphics. But guys, basically this is it. This is the way that I used to integrate Shelly devices on Home Assistant so that we can make smart devices a little bit smarter, especially when we have different brands and we want everyone to communicate between each other. If we only have, once again, Shelly devices, then their software is totally capable of doing this. Uh, turn on this if this happens. If, for example, my solar PV production reaches 2000 watts, then turn on the water heater. And if it goes below 5000, turn off. Uh, or if it goes below, I don't know, 800, something like that, we will have to, depending on our usage, uh, decide that but if it goes below 1000 then turn it off and situations like that if this sensor triggers a presence then turn this light on and basically we can do a lot guys hopefully this video was helpful in some way to integrate or to help you to integrate Shelly devices on home assistant which are two great software and hardware situations right over here if it did don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.